I was debating whether to bring this up or not right now, sooner or later, but I was debating whether to bring it up, but let's go for it. Why, why hold back? Sometimes I have a term that I use for, for you, for Chambro. It's actually a kind of a term of endearment, but you may not think so at first. <laughs> Let's have a little more music. I need something to kind of <laughs> soothe the blow here. I, I call you the Atlantean headbangers. <laughs> no, really, I, I do. <laughs> oh, for good reason. There was a time when the mind didn't reign supreme. There was a time when the land of blue wasn't just blue, it was many things. There was a time when the mind didn't control everything and limit everything. And then along came well, the headbangers, the ones who took energy, a lot of really intense energy, and put it into the minds of humans in such a way that it passed on to their children and their children, passed on generations and generations. The energies were so intense on the mind that it caused the mind to go blue. Even though all the other colors were there, the mind could only perceive blue. <coughs> and you, who I call the Atlantean headbangers, were the ones that were such a part of this work. It wasn't malicious. It wasn't done with ill intent. It was done to try to make, well, all of us a community of one through the mind, through conformity. And what it really did in the end was not only create an overfocus of the mind, but it also created such a belief in separation, almost a belief that could never be wiped out in separation from yourself, from your body, from your very spirit. The intense energies that were put into the minds of humans, and it didn't take a lot, by the way. It didn't take a lot. They didn't have to go around to everybody in Atlantis. It didn't take a lot. It created everything to go blue. I guess you'd call that oneness. I call it extreme limitation and separation. The headbangers, the ones who went and created this separation, limitation. And humans have lived with it ever since. In a way, it served a purpose. It was the experience of the I am to be separate. Well, yeah, the I am would want to experience that, you know doesn't want to just experience all of itself, but to experience separation. So in a way, you headbangers did, I guess, a wonderful thing, created such a beauty of separation. But it was almost like sealed in, and there's only one thing that can open it up. And it's not you. It's not the human. 
It's not your thoughts. Your thoughts are going to get more and more blue when you try to break through that barrier. You cannot do it. You cannot do it. But this mysterious stranger shows up, this Dr. Agoni, the dragon. It'll do it. Yes, you could argue philosophically it is you, but realistically it's not the human you. It's going to come in. You know, in the story with the blue boss trying to control everything but knowing it was going to fall apart, the dragons are going to come in and, well, tear things up. The dragon is going to bring you back to living energy. Because you know, when everything went blue, energy got thick, dense. Almost like it really wasn't living anymore. The dragon is going to come and blow that all up so the energy lives again. So, dear Atlantean headbangers, all of you, <laughs> look what you did. You have to be the first ones to go through this. Call it the spiritual path or anything like that. And you got to be the first ones to go through it because you're the ones that painted everything blue to begin with. That's your mashing. That's it right there. Let's take a deep breath together. You, dear human, it's up to you to experience and to allow. That's it. Let the dragon come in and do the work. Let yourself come back to living energy. Let yourself go from blue to the full spectrum of colors that have always been there and then the new ones that are coming in. But please, please, stop trying to do it yourself. Stop trying to control it and run it and think your way through it and you can't. I want you to really look at that. Look at yourself, dear human. You cannot do it. You cannot forgive yourself. And effectively, you cannot change yourself, but you can allow. And then let yourself go through the experience of what it was like. That's it. Let's take a deep breath together in the glorious beauty of this day. <clears throat> My dear Atlantean headbangers, <laughs> I don't feel guilty about it. It's, you know, hey, just receive the forgiveness. Don't, don't go now having to make yourself suffer for, for doing that. I'll, I'm going to explain more about this in upcoming shouts, kind of what happened and how we're going to make it unhappen. Let's take a good deep breath together. <clears throat> 